Uh, basically, we were we were pulled into um, the building behind us here. We were going to go inside, and we noticed that one gentleman, the passenger of the vehicle, it appeared that he had fell out of his vehicle. Um, so we thought we'd come over and check the sobriety of them. Um, this is a common area for people to come and drink on the on the beach. Um, as we approached the vehicle, uh, my partner discovered two open cans of beer inside. Um, we could smell uh, marijuana from inside there as well. One of these gentlemen um, I personally do know as a recreational marijuana user. Um, he admitted to having some marijuana inside. Um, the driver ultimately uh, blew a fail or warning. I'm not sure what was administered on the portable uh, or roadside screening device my partner issued. And he had failed. So he's getting a 24-hour suspension right, from his license. The marijuana is, is being seized and it will be destroyed locally or at our office. And uh, he's been issued a, a ticket for that as well. And so this is a problem area you said here? Um, the the Tresswell Beach, um, it's kind of known or as a name of uh, being the secret beach. A lot of the kids will come down here. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll smoke drugs. They'll party. Sometimes there's several hundred people down there at nighttime and there's fires. So we make this... Um, a priority on our patrols, daily patrols that come down here. Um, there's no one down there today, or very few people, as you can tell by the cars. Usually there's there's cars up and down the road. Yeah, on any given day, we, we issue approximately 20 uh, municipal bylaw tickets, and those can be for drug paraphernalia and or liquor, and that'll be consuming liquor on the sidewalks or the parks. Um, that may also include the, the uh, cycling um, tickets as well for no helmet or riding a bike on a sidewalk. Um, how much for a helmet? A helmet is $35. The possession of drug paraphernalia is $100. And the possession of liquor in a park or public space is also $100. What happens when you run into someone with crack cocaine? Um, if they're in possession of crack cocaine, they are arrested. And that's what, what kind of fine is that? Is that what is that? No, they will, they will go to court, right? It's a possession of cocaine, right? Do you find that's becoming more of a problem here? Yeah, unfortunately, down down downtown, actually, it's everywhere, but crack cocaine is very very um, prominent down in the city park area and also the, the uh, Queen of the Bus Loop area.